Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining again. In my last video, we looked at the Explorer option in your Office 365, which allows you to take remedial action against those emails which contain threats, but has actually got delivered to users for some reasons. And a lot of times these reasons are because of misconfiguration. We looked at how it's easier for the administrator to find out those emails, uh, look for which are the users who actually have received them and then take corrective actions by let's say removing them from the user's mailbox, moving to the junk, soft delete them or hard delete them. Now obviously the, that thing uh, in that then investigation needs to be carried out manually by the administrator when the user reports it to them. How about if that investigation can be, can be done completely automated way? So Microsoft has just announced a preview of the automatic investigation and remediation tool which is coming soon to Office 365 customers who have Office 365 E5 or ATP Plan 2 licenses with them. Now let's take a first look at how this solution would look like when it comes out. Now in my demo environment, in addition to this Explorer tab, I also have this investigation section here. Now the investigation section is basically all about the, all the automatic investigation that it's doing on the behalf of your administrator by itself. One of the playbook is when a, when a phishing email gets delivered and has a URL which gets weaponized after the fact, which means after it has got delivered, the URL has now got weaponized and it is now pointing to a malicious content, which was not the case when the email was actually delivered to the user. Now the threat intelligence in Office 365 can automatically pick it up and can trigger an automatic investigation that the URL is now weaponized. Whenever that happens, it can automatically start correlating all the emails which has come during the same time or it has ever come before which has the same content or may have the same URL and it can find out who are the users who actually have received it. So I'm gonna uh, launch uh, one of the email which had a similar content, um, not pertaining to URL, but let's say some, something else. Now, this is how the investigation, uh, the preview tool would actually look like. It basically gives you information about the start time of this investigation, the end time. So it's showing me that, you know, uh, there was a one alert which basically triggered this, um, this investigation. These many emails were investigated. There were 11,243 emails got investigated. These are the threats found with respect to the subject name and the malware. Uh, they were normally in the volume of the email that has received and there was a missed malware detected in the email uh, and there was one email uh, as one user that got investigated it was only one user who was who was impacted with that if there were more it was it would have shown all the other users who actually have been infected or impacted with this and then it was an action like there was six actions suggested by the investigation tool now if i if i can go into uh, each of these tools it basically gives me uh, additional information with respect to what all things it had, uh, it has actually gone through to find out uh, what kind of threats were there in the email and, and, the, and the remedial action that it suggested. Uh, like there were so many emails that it uh, investigated, there were users which it investigated and there was they found one user who had this email. Uh, if there are any machines involved, so if you have a Windows Defender ATP as well, it can automatically correlate, correlate the signals with the Defender ATP and see if there are any malicious sign of activities uh, on the user's desktop or uh, laptop and it starts showing up over here as well. Uh, so it shows you various entities that it has gone and investigated and found uh, problems with and then it has all the logs and the actions that it has suggested. So for this particular incident, there's one action that it suggested, but there are other actions assigned or basically pending for this particular user uh, or this particular email cluster. So it basically saying the soft delete email. So I can go here and select this one and then click approve. And as soon as I do that, it will start, it will go ahead and start delete, you know, deleting or soft deleting all the emails. So now I don't have to manually do that investigation like that. I can, I don't have to know if when users has reported these, I don't have to basically search for these emails and then correlate with other emails that has come and find out which are the other users who might have received this email or who may have received this email and then take actions manually. I can completely automate this with this new tool that's coming out now. So we're gonna 
talk about this in detail when it when we have more information coming out from Microsoft and then we have more information uh, and more uh, remedial actions available but there are a couple of playbooks that has just released in, in preview one is when user reports these emails to you uh, and when the URL gets weaponized after the fact so one of the other ways that this trigger this investigation can be triggered is when user reports an email through the user through the report adding uh, outlook report adding so we have this option here for user reporter so when user reports an email through the outlook add-in then it can automatically trigger this investigation as well so let's assume that one user calls a particular email as fish the the playbook will automatically trigger an investigation and will find out which are the other users who have similar emails that has uh, similar links or similar attachments and if any of those uh, mails have any malicious content with respect to URL attachments or any other thing and then it can automatically uh, finish the investigation and it will suggest what are the remedial action needs to be taken and then administrator can complete the and come and come over here and then approve those action it can be it can automatically delete all the emails from the various mailboxes so this is a new uh, new capability coming up soon uh, if you are a e5 customer or a ATP plan to customer you should start uh, seeing this uh, preview option to your tenant very soon uh, and uh, please go ahead and give it a try and then we can go ahead and de learn about these things in details when more information is available thank you so much for watching I hope you liking this video uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you uh, if you liking them and we'll talk more in the upcoming days thank you have a great rest of the day